Uh, JJ, over here on your left. JJ, you've been so tied with Joel the last couple of years, like where your minutes and his minutes are so linked. And even this year, um, you haven't shot as well with him off the floor. What was the key this tonight to sort of getting open um, without him? And how do you adjust to sort of playing without him? I believe in sample size, small sample size this year. But honestly, I think the best basketball I've played in my career was probably at the end of last year when we went on that winning streak. So, um, you know, just uh, movement. Uh, ben and I have a, an amazing thing uh, that's very organic. We don't really call plays. We just get into stuff and talk about it in the huddle. If we see something that uh, a team is doing, and we feel like we can exploit it. And there were three or four plays tonight where we did that. So, Ben, uh, do you think Jared Dudley still thinks you're average in half-court play? No, no, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> um, for you personally, Ben, coming into a building, we know what Jared said and everything that went on this week, but it was a very loud building, a very hostile environment. What's it like to come into somewhere like this and walk away with the victory? Um, I try not to pay too much attention to you know, what's going on on social media and, and what people are saying just because people are going to say what they want to say. Um, and I can't let, let that affect me on the floor. Uh, so I just try and do my job and step on the floor um, and run the point guard position as best I can. So that's, that's all I got for you. Uh, Tobias, you, you hit all six of your threes. Can you just talk about how you were feeling it tonight and, and just what it was like out there for you? Uh, I felt good. I mean, um, just came in, obviously, with Joel down. Um, you know, that's a big scoring loss that we had there. So just had to be aggressive from the start. Um, got some good looks uh, all throughout the game uh, from my teammates and just uh, was able to let it fly. And it felt good to, to see it go in and um, to just uh, stay confident with it all game. So it was a, a big game uh, personally for myself and uh, for our team too. I thought all over the game we had a lot of plays where we were fighting for one another and uh, embracing each other on the floor. So it was big for us. JJ, Brett was uh, talking about how in games and also tonight, like he'll speak to you guys on the sideline. You guys give him feedback about things you're seeing. Over the last two years, how's that dynamic evolved? How does that work in games? And, and what does that do to empower you um, as a player in a game? Well, I think, you know, a coach player relationship is a two way thing. And, you know, you, you have to be willing to take suggestions as a player and, um, and vice versa. And, you know, in the, course of a game a player might see something uh, differently than a coach sees it and a coach might see something differently than a player sees it and you have to be able to communicate that and you know I think as we've sort of grown as a group uh, you know I've been here two years Ben played here two years you know obviously Joel three uh, our the rest of our guys over the last few months you know I think that <laughs> that communication has, has really improved um, you know there was an example tonight where we saw something on the floor we went to him during the next time out we set something up as players. We hit back-to-back -back threes off, you know, basically our, our reads, our set pieces. Uh, ben, I'm, I'm curious to know, At I guess it's a two-part question. First, at what point did you know that Joel was not going to play? And secondly, did that have an impact on your mindset going into the game? Did you feel like you needed to be more aggressive or try to make up for the slack that his absence created? Um, I mean, I keep the same mindset. It's playoffs. You got you to play a certain way. Um, keep that same intensity. You got to be locked in, stay focused. Um, and for me, you know, I, I found out prior to the game a little bit earlier. So, you know, I kept that same mindset, and uh, it's been working. Uh, JJ, what was your uh, game day experience like today playing, you know, closer to, to home for you? Was that – did that help you at all? Um, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> no, I just, it's, you know, I, every time I've played in New York the last two years, I um, I sleep at home. I wake up with my kids like I do any other day. Um, and uh, and then I go nap at the team hotel. So, and I ride the bus with the team. I considered the subway today. Um, you should have took it. Yeah, I know. But the, the, the carry tunnel was moving, so I avoided the subway. I guess for, for Ben and, and all you guys, what does it say about this team you know, to find out you lose Joel just you know, 10, 15 minutes before the game, for you guys to come in here, get a win, big nights from all three of you guys, get a win on the road and uh, to take the lead in this series? 
You want me to ask that? Sure. Um, we have the pieces to get games, you know, to complete games. And I think everybody in our organization knows that. Um, it's about everybody stepping up and, you know, f following the plan, the scouting report, whatever it is, um, and just locking in and, and, and buying into what we have built in that foundation. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, towards the end of uh, the regular season, uh, we, we really didn't play that well without Joel. So um, for us, it was kind of hearing that he wasn't playing, um, you know, a little added motivation, I think, for us as a group of, hey, we got our, you know, our best player down. We, got, we all got to pick it up and step it up and uh, stick to the game plan and be even more focused. So I thought just for us to go out here and um, come out with that effort, and I think um, the pieces that came in for Joel did a great job tonight. You know, Greg gave us a, a, a great push out there. Bobon played really well. Mike at the five. So we got different pieces to come along and kind of fill that void for us. Uh, hey, Ben, I know you said you don't uh, pay attention to that stuff, but when Dudley hit that three-point, um, actually airballed the three-pointer, I saw you look at him. Um, was there something extra there? I don't really have energy for it, man, honestly. It's done. People are going to say what they want to say. It is what it is. I just got to play.